Okay, we're dealing with two concepts here. The one is the gross domestic expenditure, and the other one is expenditure on gross domestic product. If you look at the first one, gross domestic expenditure, we're talking about what is the spending by the citizens or inhabitants of a country, between the borders of the country. What is the spending by the economic participants? And there we have three very important ones. Households, that does consumption spending, plus investment spending by firms, plus government spending. So that makes up your spending in the economy. Now, if you look at imports and exports, what we can say about imports, well, it's included in this figure because it's part of the spending by households, firms, and government. But exports are excluded because this is the spending by the rest of the world on goods and services that we have produced. So the gross domestic expenditure tells us what is the spending by the inhabitants of a country. Now, expenditure on GDP, on the other hand, also consists of your participants' spending, C plus I plus G, but it includes exports minus imports. What this figure tells us is what is being spent on the goods and services that we have produced in the country. Therefore, it includes exports, because that is goods and services we sell to the rest of the world, but we subtract imports, because that is spending on goods that we have not produced. So if you look at this part of the expenditure of GDP, you'll say that is the gross domestic expenditure part. Now, if your exports is less than your imports, it will mean that your gross domestic expenditure is more than your expenditure on GDP. And what that means is that the spending by the people, households, firms, government in the economy is more than the production of the goods and services in this particular, particular economy.